Vacation, all I ever wanted. Vacation, had to get away. Elon Musk is channeling Ralph Cramden. He wants to send people to the moon, Alice! Do any of you get that reference? Let me know in the comments if you get that reference. Watched a lot of reruns when I was a kid. Anyway, back to the important bit. SpaceX, the private spacefaring company co-founded by Elon Musk, has some far out plans for expanding the tourist industry. In 2018, which is just one year away from the recording of this video, if my calculations are correct, the company will send a pair of tourists on a journey that will take them around the far side of the moon and back to Earth. That second part is pretty important. It's what separates tourists from colonists. The proposed launch vehicle for this project would be SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. The Falcon Heavy is twice as powerful as the next most beefy launch vehicle in use today. It can put up to 54 metric tons into orbit. It's a three core, 27 engine monstrosity, and I mean that in a good way. It's packing a huge amount of power in a large frame. As of right now, SpaceX has yet to launch a Falcon Heavy. Currently, the organization plans a demonstration in the summer of 2017. Back to the lunar vacation. The journey would take about a week from launch to touchdown, and the couple would spend that week in the luxurious trappings of the SpaceX Dragon 2 capsule. The Dragon 2 will have the capacity to hold up to seven astronauts. The interior design looks like something out of a science fiction film and is a bit more sleek and sexy than the more utilitarian spacecraft you see at NASA. I think if Apple made a spacecraft, it would look a lot like the Dragon 2. If you're hoping to be one of those lucky two, I have some bad news for you, they've already been decided. As of this recording, SpaceX hasn't revealed their identities, but the company has said they've paid a significant deposit. How much? Well, Musk isn't saying, but he did say the mission would cost a bit more than a crewed mission to the space station. It ain't gonna be cheap, that's for sure. And the price paid won't just be in dollars. The Dragon 2 capsule is fully automated, meaning that under normal operating circumstances, the passengers won't have to lift a finger. But sometimes stuff goes wrong. In that event, the passengers may become pilots, and so the tourists will have to undergo training to handle emergency situations. This is like traveling to a country where everyone drives on the opposite side of the road. Only, you know, a billion times more complicated. So like a place that only has manual transmission cars, I guess. Personally, I think the announcement is more than a little audacious. We have yet to see a Falcon Heavy launch. If the launch vehicle shows signs of problems, I'd imagine we see any moon loop plans postponed or even canceled. A Dragon capsule with a crew is similarly unproven technology. Originally, SpaceX planned to launch a crew in a Dragon capsule to the International Space Station in late 2017, but a launch accident with an unmanned craft in 2016 pushed those plans back. We may see an unmanned demonstration of the crew module in November 2017, but the first Dragon capsule with an actual crew isn't scheduled for launch until May 2018. So to sum up, we have an announcement about sending two tourists, presumably people who aren't astronauts, up and around the moon by late 2018 in a capsule that is yet to have a mission on a launch vehicle that is yet to be tested. I don't know if that's forward thinking or just pure unfiltered bravado. Would you sign up for a trip around the moon under these circumstances? Or would you feel better after a few tests and demonstrations? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring this series. If you enjoyed hearing about these crazy ambitious vacation plans, hit the like button for me. And be sure to join the forward thinking think tank by subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the future.